Hello, Andy. <laughs> it's me with my funny ideas. I am uh, walking about maybe a couple kilometers. I scanned the area all over this hill here. I couldn't find no target at all. Yesterday I found just one part where mineralized ground, that's all it is. Now, I got um, to understand something uh, myself and a few of my friends who they got these um, radars uh, to really understand how to eliminate mineralized ground. It is a simple operation, but you cannot do it with a smaller radar. I have found that out. You gotta have a, a strong radar, a strong to understand the distance uh, between the mineralized ground and uh, a real target. In other words, uh, the mineralized ground you will detect approximately from 30 meters away, but uh, a real target you're going to detect a lot further. I think I'm more than a hundred meters away from this target what I got there now. Uh, the reason I had to do this, uh, I know I've got a few people out there on YouTube that give me, you know, all kind of a bullshit. I don't care about them. You know, because I don't do this for them. I don't even do this for anybody to encourage to get these things. Uh, this is a my own uh, idea to do this and uh, to work on this to find that new way of prospecting. I could have been swinging a metal detector this morning for to this area uh, for about a um, <laughs> week. I done it in a one and a half hour, two hours. I, cleaned, I went through it and I said there's no gold. I found one big hole up there. Somebody dug it up, left it open about half a meter deep, didn't have covered it up. You know what he got from it? I got a big brown rock. That's what he got from it. So, look, it's not about the digging or anything, but a lot of out there people, you know, these smart prospectors that go out there, dig up a hole and he can't take it five seconds to cover the hole. What he does, he leaves it open. Now I'm doing this um, just to help my friends, uh, these five people who I got these radars. Uh, this one is uh, not mine anymore. Uh, this one belongs to the person, except these big antennas are test antennas. They are not original antennas. Uh, I've got original antennas uh, which they go on it. And um, you're not, um, to, uh, to do this, uh, I just had to find the difference uh, how close you detect target and how close you detect mineralized ground. So in other words, I can detect a two and a half grams nugget approximately by looking from here about 100 meters. But I tell you, this is with a pair rider. Not with the small riders, but not with any rider. It's difficult to understand the distance from the other riders which you've got to learn to operate. And if you get a small rider or some other kind of a thing, uh, you, will never, you, will, you will never understand it, it will never work for you, you, you will not know it. But with the, once you've got a pair and you've got a distance for a target, say approximately 100 meters on two and a half grams, and the target of mineral rock that I found one last week here, from here, it's only about 12 meters away. And you know what, radar is not picking up that truck because it's got to find gold in it, but he's picking up this target, which is um, 100 meters away. We'll, we'll measure it anyway. I'm going to turn this around and show you the distance. And then uh, I'll uh, go on and use this equipment here. You can see up here, I've got a pick. There's a pick up here near the road there you can see the pick there and there's a bit of a hole there that's when i put mineralized rock that i found last week but up there in a the distance long way up there i don't know even can i zoom in there i'll try to zoom in there from here and uh, you might see the red ribbon somewhere up that way if you don't well don't blame me i'm too far away but i uh, Yes, there it is. I can see it on the camera. 
So that, that's way is a two and a half gram nugget at nine inches deep. Okay, now I put this uh, thing on. This is the closest limit I can detect him from. I have tried uh, further distance. I have to, uh, to fix up my antenna is gone wrong uh, sideways because these un test antennas are different type to work with. Now, I'll go a little bit further back here. You watch here. Uh, my radar won't detect anything here. It might pick it up that up there because I th I'm not too sure. But you've got to give him a chance to scan the ground and go around. You can see it, it's spinning around. Right. In other words, you watch here. Now, I just only moved a meter away. Not very far, it's only one meter. You watch it up there. He's going directly to that two and a half gram nugget. He's completely a little bit confused with this mineralized ground that I got there where I'm pointing it right out with my hand now. I don't let him run on his own power. I'm now but he is running on his own power. You watch now. He is going to that two and a half gram nugget. Okay, I'll just move a little bit further because this is the limit. Uh, I've got to I've got to now go and I'm going to measure this from here, right? I'm okay, going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, I'm up to eighty meters away. Uh, to, I mean, say I might be about eighty meters away from a target. We'll find out what it does now. You watch, the mineralized rock is right next to me. And he's avoiding it completely. In other words, when you find this, friends, would I got this radar? When you find the mineralization, remember that your radar will go a lot further than, I um, say, 30 meters for a piece of gold. In other words, if you, if you move away from mineralization about 30 meters and doesn't detect it, you walk away from it, I guarantee you that's not a gold. There is either small particles of gold or whatever it is in it, in a, in a highly mineralized ground which has got a radioactive particles. Now we'll measure from here further. Okay, we're going closer. We'll go. We'll measure 20 meters. Now we'll go. 21, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 70, 71, 72, 3, 74, 75, 6, 77, 78, 79, 80 meters. Now there is a red ribbon day. The target. I marked it so I know where it is, I can find it even without it, but I like to know. So you see it where it is. You watch him. He will go on a target and once he locks on it, he stays on it. He does not muck around with it. Now, we measure the rest of the distance, right? We measured 80 meters from here. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. 6, 8, 7, 8, 8, 9, 90, 91, 92, 3, 94, 5, 96, 97, 89, 98, 99, 100. Okay, this is 100 meters. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm still about 
four meters away from it. You can see the where I put a gull there. Okay, one, two, three, four, five meters. 115 meters from there to here to this target piece of gold that I got here there it is and here is my piece of gold there it's not to show to you how it works neither this took a month of study to understand it it's not to show to you to anybody there how it works to encourage you to buy it I've got to take my ribbon off I don't trust you with my ribbons now, not to encourage you to buy, I don't want anybody to go for this kind of a crab because, you know, I think it might be crap like you say, but you believe what you believe, I got my beliefs and I do know how that this thing works and it works bloody good, it is a great thing to have it, I love it, I'm just trying to put my red ribbon away now we'll go back and find that mineralized ground right we'll go to rock and uh, this piece of gold at 115 meters distance but remember these are only test antennas they are only special antennas which i'm using for testing and the smell antennas probably will go up to you know maybe 105 meters but i wouldn't go maybe 110 i never done the testing uh, now we'll go back and find out the mineralization how long it takes it from how far we'll pick up mineralized rock you know one that i found last week some people kind of yeah, go find a piece of gold well look i went over this all this area here all around and down that side, the other hill, the whole lot of that, there is no piece of gold left in this area. Not even if, I know this radar can detect 0 0.6 of the gram on a, exactly 69 meters. 0 0.6 of the gram. Now, where did I left it? My pick. I, I think it's somewhere there, I can see it. So, 69 meters for 0 0.6 of the gram. Come on. We're going to grow up. Or what? Okay. Now, look. I'm close to this damn thing. This is a mineralized rock. Let's see what it does. Will it pick it up or not? You remember? I was right next to it. He wouldn't pick it up. You look, he's picking it up now. I'm going to move away further again just to find out how far he detects it. You remember, I said about 30 meters. Okay. Now, let's see will he pick it up from here. I'm not 30 meters away, but move. Do you understand now what I'm trying to talk about? Uh, how radar works on gold and on mineralized, mineralized ground. Now I'll walk a little bit closer just to find out. Then we'll find out how many meters. Oh, is he going to pick it up? I don't know, not too sure. I don't think so. No, he didn't pick it up. Good. Okay, I'll go a bit closer again. <laughs> um, uh, I love this sort of thing. Now I'm closer. Okay, he's still not picking up that mineralized rock with the fine gold on it. Remember, I picked it up somewhere from here. I just busted the distance. Okay. He's picking it up from here. Right. Now we'll measure how many meters from here. Remember? 115 meters. 
I pick up a half, two and a half gram nugget and I was only about maybe this distance from that rock and I wouldn't pick it up. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. About twenty-two meters. Okay, what we'll do, we'll put it right up down here. Okay, uh, no, I won't do it yet. I just want to show to you that it will pick up the truck there. I'm not showing to you, I'm showing to these people that I got this right. You see, it picks it up. In other words, to understand how this works. If you got a pair, you can detect the target from long distance. I'll get my rock here, I like my rock. I don't care what you think. If you can detect target from long distance, that's the one that contains fine gold in it. If it's a definitely fine gold, I know now. Remember I had that last week. There, now I put in there next to the head and cover this little hole that I made a mess here. I'm not like any other prospector. I can cover my what? Now, right. I got to talk to you in a different way. <laughs> Good thing, isn't it? Takes a month of study and understanding, patience and that uh, this is what this is a result now right so another way this rock and there that's got a fine gold in it the takes what from 22 meters i was passing that i was only about 10 meters away from it and right i wouldn't pick it up why because there was a stronger target in a distance out there which contains a gold or uh, more radioactivity in it because right on it mostly picks up radioactive particles. Now, do you understand what I'm saying? If you walk away from the target when you found target with your radar, you walk away about 25, 30 meters, I say, away. If it doesn't detect that target, that means it's mineralized ground, you walk away. Look for a target that is longer, like a 50, uh, uh, I would say even more, I would say from 70 meters onwards. But that's only with a pair radar, because normal radar just goes about 67 meters, 70 meters. So, <laughs> normal radar you would have to go with this uh, rock about 25 meters to find this rock, go back to 30, you won't find it. But um, if you then if you find a piece of gold, uh, say two and a half grams, you would be about um, have to be at least uh, it'd be about 60 meters away or something like that. It will be a good piece of gold, it won't be mineralized rock. But you've got to measure the distance from a target. Once you intercept the target sideways, you look at it and you say, yes, um, this is look like it's long distance. It could be a piece of gold. I'll take metal detector to it. But if it's a closer distance, don't bother taking a metal detector because it's not gold. Have a nice day. <laughs> and uh, anybody who doesn't like this, you know, guys, I don't give a damn it about you one word or the other it don't matter you know you're not my friend you never will be you have no right to comment you put a bad comment I will take it off if you you don't you don't deserve this you're going to take your own why I'll do it my way so you you can just simply as I say stay away from my page bye